grow quite happily. And this was the case for everything I screened, not a sausage. Everything was happy, there was no difference between my allele 1 and allele 2 knockouts. Um, so why aren't there any phenotypic differences? I might have just been really, really unlucky and have found that uh, I didn't find the right phenotypic screen. <coughs> no link between AEI and function. But there are also um, errors with uh, my actual alignment. So there are errors in the reference genome I use. This is 10 years old now, and there have been sequencing errors. When I align my reads back to my SNPs, if these SNPs are actually not real and are actually errors, I'm producing incorrect reads, number of reads for each allele, which I'm then comparing. There are also biases in sequencing technology in itself. So GC content has been shown to affect the sequenceability of the sequence. If this is massively different between my alleles, this can affect the number of reads, and therefore I'm actually skewing my AEI. And I don't know in my knockouts whether my other allele is increasing its expression to compensate for this loss, uh, which is something I need to look into. So, so to conclude, I used RNA sequencing data to identify AEI, but I don't know what the functional contribution of this is. And so to thank everybody involved, my supervisor, Mark Ramsdale, and the Exa Sequencing Service, funded by Comrade, uh, David Studholm and his group Tom and Paul helped me with the pipeline. And I'd also like to thank Howard and Lindsay who did the work at Bristol for the co-infection with Thank you.